calendar to February, we're counting down the days to March Madness. The Illini are officially halfway through the Big Ten schedule, all alone and second in the standings. Coming off their biggest one of the year, the team says it's in position to continue growing, playing its best ball of the season. Right now, we're in a good spot uh, to kind of hit our peak uh, in uh, early, middle February. I like where we're at. I think I think we're really good. We all talk about it and share the same goals of winning a uh, Big Ten championship, national championship. As a team, we're figuring out kind of what we need to do and, and what our groove needs to look like to, to do that. A trip to Indiana awaits now. It's the first time the Illini have left this state since December 23rd. Illinois beat the Hoosiers by nine in Champaign the day after Christmas. It was one of the lowest scoring games of the season so far. And while Indiana isn't a Wisconsin or Purdue in terms of tempo, they can certainly slow a game down, ranking 194th in possessions per game, 112 spots behind Illinois. You have to take care of the ball, value the basketball. That was the one thing I, I didn't like in our Iowa game. You know, they're a little more uh, up-tempo at home. We're always going to take our opportunities when they're there. And if it's not, and the possessions are in the 60s, then we've got to learn to you know, fight for every possession, every loose ball, every offensive rebound, and execute on, on the offensive end. Illinois at Indiana tips tomorrow night at 8 on ESPN. It's the first game for the Hoosiers in nine days after a postponement.